It's a good day. Lewis Hamilton has signed with Mercedes of 2025 and so has George Russell. Now, if you're not a Formula One fan, that means absolutely nothing to you. But if you're a Formula One and Mercedes fan and a Lewis Hamilton fan, this means it's gonna be a great long Labor Day weekend. But aside from that, I just booked a ticket to Miami last minute, like literally probably an hour and a half ago. Um, and I'm gonna surprise my parents. My sister's in on it because someone has to be in on it. <laughs> and she is my travel person. Like before I do anything, I just always call her older sister stuff. I've seen so many memes about this. Um, I had to get a little bit of a workout in because my mental space and mental mind needed it before um, getting ready to be on a plane. But now that means that I have to shower and I'm going to get ready. I have to leave here. I think at, I think my Google Maps at like 2.52 or something like that to make it to arrive on time at the airport. I had to do some last minute laundry because I just needed some clothes from there. And I'm almost, I have to make my bed to not judge me. I'm almost backed. Yes, this is how it's going because I'm there for like three days, but but my brain needs a thousand clothes to be okay. To think that I'm gonna survive, even though I have clothes in Miami too. These Avianas, Avianas, Avianas sandals are my absolute favorite. My mom brought them when she was visiting me a little while back and I stole them from her and now they're mine. Don't worry. She got another pair just like it because we are obsessed. Um, I haven't eaten anything because I'm gonna eat at the airport. Um, at least that's my plan. That's also why I wanna leave on time. I have to finish some last minute email stuff before showering and getting ready to go to the airport, so I'm gonna do it now. One thing you should know about me is I hate packing. I hate it. I think it's the worst part about traveling is having to pack. When you live alone, you have to leave your house semi-decent for when you come back. Meaning like I need food that's in your fridge is gonna go bad, gotta throw it away, gotta prepare, so when you come back, thing isn't, you know, everything's not like a shit show. So, that's what I'm gonna do now. And I hate it. Um, so, ooh, this rice is bad. So my parents have been asking me if I'm gonna go to Miami for Labor Day weekend, stuff like that, since I have Monday off. Um, and at first I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. And then I started being wishy-washy about it. And then today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna book a flight to Miami. And I looked at the prices and they were bad. So I was like, she's going to Miami. Bienvenidos a mi gummy. Um, so I'm gonna do here alone. Exactly, no fun. Um, and I'm very excited. I love being back in Miami. My home, it's just, it's, it's very nice. I miss it. I think I'm also going to just have a quick sandwich with mayonnaise, so I'm not a hungry human being. This is my favorite snack. Egg my oven with mayonnaise. So good. And um, who remembers Sunny D? I do. So good. After this, I'm gonna shower. Put my airport outfit on. Finish packing to um, be ready to leave on time. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I showered, I am starting my skincare. I did L'Oreal's Hyaluronic Acid and then at the outset boosting oils. These are my favorite oils for my face. And then I'm gonna go in with the Winelda Skin Foods Mo Nourishing Moisturizer. I do about a pea size amount. Since I already put like some oil on my face, I just like to be extra hydrated. Deciding if I want to put, oh lordy lord. I'm deciding if I want to put on makeup or not. It was hard. I don't know, I have to decide now what I want to do, but I also don't know if I want to wear these leggings or another pair of leggings. Let me do that first and then decide if I'm gonna do my makeup or not. I don't know if I consider this makeup. So I actually bought this less than a year ago and I hadn't really worn it because I went more into the tinted 
sunscreen route and I tried the LTMD and the La Roche Posay and I realized I was having a bunch of breakouts. I did briefly for like four or five, six months, try to go on tretinoin. That did not work. Um, also, I didn't go to my dermatologist. I went through like Nurex, which no hate against them, but I just finally made a dermatologist appointment, okay? Um, anyways, that didn't work out for me, but, and I have, was having a bunch of breakouts, which I was like so confused about because normally I would get breakouts, but it was, you know, normally just around my period and when that was happening and coming. So I was just really frustrated. But last week I was like, what if it's the La Roche Passée that's causing me the breakouts? Because the breakouts like got worse when I started the La Roche Passée tinted sunscreen, which works for a lot of people, but just might not work for me. So then I decided to stop it, like stop using that, but I still like to have a little tint or something on my face. And I remembered I had the Ilia, that's why I went back to it. And I haven't had, like my breakouts, have gotten significantly better, which is what I wanted. Um, so I think the La Roche Posay was doing that, but it forced me to go back to the Ilia skin tint, which I liked. However, the Ilia just, I don't know, something about it I didn't love. I didn't love the smell. I thought it was, and I still think it's kind of annoying to apply. Like I am super minimum with my makeup. Um, so I just like do everything with my hands and try to not use brushes. So um, when I re started reusing this, I think like last week, um, I was like, okay, I think I need to use a brush with this because the application with my hands alone is not great. Um, and utilizing a brush does make it so much better. Like it applies so nice. And I got a compliment on it. I was like, okay, fine, Ilya, fine. I kind of like you. Um, I also think it's great. It's, it's very skincare makeup friendly. Like it has hyaluronic acid, squalene, niamycin. I can never say that. My Spanish does not let me say that one. Um, so I do think it's like skincare friendly and I can attest it has not broken me out, which the La Roche would say, and I'll show you which one it was. It was this one. It's pretty famous. So this one, I think was breaking me out. And I think it's just La Roche Posay in general because I was in Europe this summer and I got this one from Europe, which, you know, it's supposed to be a lot better. And I do think European sunscreens are better because they have better regulations than we do here in the States. But I think the La Roche Posay in general just doesn't go well with my face. I go in with the Hero Cosmetics Rescue Balm in green. And I like to put this a little bit under my eyes. And the reason is, one, I feel like it does, like, adds more moisture under my eyes. So it, like, helps it stay moisturized. And two, it's good at, like, correcting, you know, like, redness. So I just, like, kind of drop this down all over my face. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I think I'm just, like, stressed. This was so last minute. And I'm, like, very tired of you. Um, but I've slowly this year practiced being more go with the flow, which has been very nice. And I do believe everything in life happens for a reason. I'm also just stressed because I'm trying to surprise my parents and I'm just like, oh my God, that's stressing me out a little bit because my mom always calls me. Um, and I always call her like at five. So I started boarding at 5.35. So I'm going to call her around like four-ish, five. Um, and hopefully... <laughs> I can text her and I can be like, oh, I'm talking to like my best friend, Johnny. Like, can I call you back while I'm in the air? I'm a little stressed, you guys. But it's hard to surprise my mom. She's the type of person that's like, I knew it. I totally saw it coming. Okay, I applied Merit like foundation stick, but I use it as a concealer. Um, and now I'm going in with a little brush and just sort of like brushing that out a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with my Merit Beauty, um, what is this, blush? And this is in the color Beverly Hills. It's my favorite. I tried another one from there. I can't remember the name. And I didn't like it. I ended up returning it and going and picking this one up. Because um, I just didn't like it. I think this Beverly Hills colors is like perfect for my skin tone. So I just absolutely love it. It's my favorite. And the whole wide world. Okay. And now I just go in with my fingers and sort of like blend this out. I also, as you can see, I put a little bit on my eyes. I learned this from a TikTok video like months ago. 
and I've been doing it ever since because I just really like that little bit of color on my eyelids. Okay, and then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Okay, I'm going to put all of my makeups that I'm gonna take. Okay, I'm just dropping things today. Oh, this is my favorite, the micellar water. Oh, this thing is amazing. Um, I've tried cleansing bombs and now the micellar water and I prefer the micellar water. I'm not taking the Ilia with me because that is one thing I've heard of that it does not do well with traveling and airplanes. So we're not going to risk that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take my Billy razor. I put on my jewelry already. This was fun, thank you for helping my anxiety. Perfume, this is the Creed. I don't like this one as much as my other creams. I recommend um, Summer in White or Aventus for her. I think the, the smell lingers a little bit more, but that one's very light. It's very nice for the airport. Um, I just realized I have to put the laundry that I cleaned away. Okay, lovely. Update, we are on our way to the airport. I am very excited. Um, I finished packing and everything and I just decided to leave a little bit earlier so traffic wouldn't get too bad. Um, and also I'm just gonna work from the Delta Lounge so it all works out. Um, I was dressing the last couple of minutes um, so I didn't record any of that. Now I'm gonna drive, be a safe driver, okay bye. Thankfully, I made it safely. I was at the lounge working for a bit, and then I waited by the gate. One of my favorite things about the DGW airport is this, like, train, but it's, like, it's outside. You can see it. It's really cool. Um, and here I am. Oh, little naive Lizbeth thinking that she was getting ready to surprise parents in Miami. Um, yeah, no, life had other things for us, guys. We we had to board the plane, and they didn't tell us until, like, 7. Like, we were sitting in our seats, 624, boarding. 7, they got us out of the plane. They're like, um, yeah, we're going to try and find another plane. We think we have one, but it's not here yet great um waited and waited and waited ended up getting on another plane at like 10 had to wait another hour for catering to bring food so 11 p.m was when we left and got up miami at two in the morning i was so tired thankfully i was smart enough to have some food at home or like at the airport at the bar met some nice ladies and finally entered miami i was so happy